What is going on? I am Zedmont. We are here on the Namesake account. We're going to be doing some warships. I am treading water. Just I know this is a race. This is a sprint. I previously called it that, but I am treading water, and that's just staying with the pack, try, not like getting left behind. My next goal is barrage. There is this weird sort of thing where if you're going to go for barrage, you have to save up some tokens. As you can see, I have not saved any up. So uh, going for four engine rooms might be better, but then we're going to get absolutely destroyed by seekers. So there's a balancing act here. You got to make some choices, and with the tech tree, those choices can burn you pretty darn quickly. I'm going for barrage on this account. On another account, I have not got flamethrowers, so I'm just going to go through and go to four engine rooms. Maybe show you more on that later. Let's just get into it. I did not release a video yesterday. Yesterday was there's all sorts of stuff going on in the world. There was a big blackout on social media, as many of you know. And uh, just didn't feel that I had anything to say or add and don't want to get into politics and all that sort of stuff. So I just figured, you know what, I'm just not going to upload anything. And it's an easy, uh, it's perhaps a cop out, but this is a gaming channel and um, I love all people. So I'm just going to stay the heck away from all of the things and uh, we'll carry on. Now, speaking of carrying on. We, my friends, are going to do a prize pack, a wonderful, wonderful, huge, huge giveaway. So if you've made it this far into the video, please carry on. I'll explain in a moment after this attack. I will show, tell you what I'm going to do as far as a giveaway as I'm just getting absolutely destroyed on the right-hand side. Bullets about to die. We are definitely... Oh, they retreated. Oh, thank heavens. Let's keep going. Should be able to win this one. I'm not entirely sure why they retreated or how they only got one engine room, but I will definitely take it because we were going to lose against almost anyone. Definitely getting a gift here from the supercell gods are there supercell gods i'm not sure that they've done any sort of uh talks or walks that way i don't think there are anyways let's get going i'm gonna try my best to get all of my troops into about here low level smokes so those are probably going to expire before my troops get anywhere close i'm just thinking maybe this way my heavies can get nice and close i had my smokes show up in the wrong order so again this is that bug where it's not actually a bug but it might actually work out to my benefit from over here, the closest building was that machine gun, so my troops walked right up on it and just got absolutely wrecked. So when you're coming from one side or the other, using a flare is a good, good idea because what you think is the closest building isn't always, and we managed to get a little bit lucky there against Cobain. So uh, let's get back here. Speaking of this contest, what you need to do is throw my creator boost into your game. It's that simple. Z-M-O-T. Throw that in there. Leave it there for a week. Renew it every day for a month, whatever. I can't see if you've supported me or not. All you need to do to get in is A, support me in the creator boost. I can't check that, so I'm not going to be able to validate it. I'm just going to have to take you for your word on it. And then B, throw a comment down below and include the emoji of... Um, Let's go with a bike emoji. That's all it takes is just throw a bike down there. And then I, you know what? Let's watch that replay. See how someone failed against me because that is a rare, rare sight. I don't know what's going on if my mom, they used warriors. Wow. Warriors with Kavan and ice shield and activated the ice shield way too early. So they just got absolutely pummeled. Don't really know what the strategy was there. That was really, really interesting. I, If you guys can explain that attack to me, I will somehow give you a bonus entry into the draw because that made zero sense to me and we're not going to dwell on it because I literally don't understand what just happened. So we're going to drop all of our troops over on here. I have been using bullet to stay alive on the one side, taking shots to the dome as my troops, most of them go off to the left hand side. I have had fairly good success with that. Now, saying that, I am not doing well at warships this season. The warships, I need to put some time in and I have not put any time in so things not going super duper well for me at this point I, i'm like i said just treading water and i that's a great strategy 
for a while. And obviously, as the season goes on, that treading water is definitely going to catch up with me. And by the way, I wouldn't say treading water if not for the fact that this is warships and we're nautical themed and all that sort of stuff. So it seemed somewhat relevant, not super duper relevant, but um, we are going to lose yet again at this rate not doing well um these are these attacks are ones where i gotta say i just haven't had the time or the energy to put time into figuring out the perfect attack strategies so this video might not be super useful to you it might at least there's a prize involved though that was my kind of that was my cop out and mid ground like if i can't at least show something exciting let's give a prize away i have not done prizes in a long long time so hopefully that at least gets some interest from you guys and uh so i'm going to be very curious to see if people check out about now or if they stay around to see if i can get a second win now um I'm curious to hear what you guys think about warship attack video lengths because maybe I need to do this live because I find that warships attacks just take so long as so you got to do at least right now I've got to do at least six attacks to get my chest moving up to four engine rooms it's only four attacks to get two chests so that's a little bit better but I just find that these things draw on and on and um, I've watched some other content from people and I just am not drawn in by warships in the same way that I am by operation attacks and things like that. So if you guys have any tips about what you like to see in warships, or if you just, if you generally just pick things up along the way, I would love to be able to put out like a warships video with a condensed version that like maybe a fast forward version where I just literally do a time lapse of all these attacks and talk over them or something because i just find that warships just drags on and on and on and i can't wait for barrage because barrage is definitely going to speed things up and that is why i'm going that route now on the other side i for some reason in the middle of the night last night which i never do but i ended up thinking about boom beach and seekers and the idea of seekers for the main base just sounds like it could be so ridiculously fun and easy just to be able to drop seekers and clear your map would be fairly magical uh, possibly too magical but um, i am interested to hear you guys' thoughts on if you think seekers should ever come to the main base because there's a lot of potential there where we could have just like absolute silliness from seekers and seekers i'm not sure if any if all of you have ever played with seekers before because in the past they've been fairly high level as far as whether you've been required to get them in warships but this season many people are going to be playing with seekers for the first time so do let me know in the comments what you think about the idea of having seekers on the main base because being able to do an operation attack or clear your map with seekers could potentially be super awesome uh, did we manage to to pull out a win ah, i clicked away now we can't go back and spectate as you can see here my profile not doing super duper well but on the same vein we don't have many attacks and let's check rest in pieces kick and butt he or she was just talking about the decision between going between four engine rooms and getting barrage let's see where i'm sitting at a 36 percent win rate boom that is fairly terrible but uh 34 battles fought so just like i said treading water i don't know if i can say treading water any more times before you guys decide you want to put your foot on my head and push me under the water but uh let's keep going get two more chests and uh this person has flamethrowers haven't seen a lot of flamethrowers which is a bit surprising. Perhaps all of the people with flamethrowers have moved up to four engine rooms at this point. Don't really know what the reasoning is, but let's keep going. All I really need to do on this left-hand side is keep my troops moving forwards and then making sure that bullet is not going to die. That's all I really care about on this right-hand side is just hitting energy drink every so often, making sure that he does not die. Now, he has been pulled into the middle, which is not a good place for him to be because all of those troops on that right hand side are now in danger and that is not a, oh there we go looks like he might pull back out to the right not using flares is or can be a bit of a problem for sure because all of a sudden now we've got to shock this machine gun to try and keep our last few zookas on that side 
it's I, that's one thing I really do like about warships is your attention is being pulled all over the place all at once whether you're looking on the right hand side to see if you need to shock things or keep bullet alive or you're looking on the left hand side to see when you need to throw that flare and now I'm just going to throw 50 flares at that engine room probably should have used um, energy drink there just to get bullet with a bit more speed to get a couple extra shots in perhaps let's see what we're looking at so this base doing fairly well looks like all of these mines potentially need to be replaced um, looks like the person went to the right hand side i was giving some tips on the reddit discord server yesterday and i I don't follow my own tips, just so you know. I say things that I don't do because I don't have the time for it, but please make sure if this is your first season of Warships or your 11th, watch the replays. Watching people attack your base is the best possible way. Simply copying and pasting someone's base will get you 51% of the way, but if you watch attacks, modify things, change your base every single attack, possibly, uh, depending on how things go, you can do so, so incredibly well at Warships. There is just the beautiful thing about Warships is it's all about the details. And there are so, so many details to follow. And I really do appreciate that when I've got the time for it. This season, I just have not had the time for it. And so I am a little bit guilty and I feel bad putting these videos out there when I am winning or losing or doing mediocre attacks. But uh, hopefully you guys find some entertainment out of it doesn't have to be all about education people keep telling me so i appreciate all of you who have been urging me to put out videos even if they're not super duper complete because for me warships i my videos and are typically all about perfect attacks whether it be operation attacks or pvp and detail oriented stuff and warships is just not that for me because i just don't have the time People last season who were on the leaderboards put in in the neighborhood of 1,600 attacks, and those numbers just blow my mind. Let's get Bullet, see if we can get him out in front and clear that mine. Energy Drink is fairly useful for that. At least we popped that mine, kept a couple of our Zuka dudes alive. We are going to lose. That is okay with me at the moment. Let's get rid of this machine gun first, and then we'll flare in just to make sure we don't somehow lose all of our troops. Um, curious to hear how you guys are going as far as with or without instant training this season seems like it's going to be difficult people without instant training um, look at that it's like zed mod and snot -y, snotty kicking the snot out of me almost there i think we're going to get barrage on this one i'm saving all of my bits and pieces for that barrage because even if we can just take out mines with it i am so looking forward to not having to worry about mines the people who have not only mines but boom mines let's go switch troops let's go heavy heavy zooka heavy 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 zooka zooka i like to put them in the order of when i'm going to drop them that way i can go one two three four one two three uh oh i think i just missed no i didn't that's exactly what i was looking for so that is the order of drops that i like to do that way we have bullet and two heavies and one botazookas on the right all we need is one botazookas on the right and then on the left hopefully all of our troops can get by a bunch of these mines getting in nice and tight just so many details happening at once and um so yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying warships let me know uh, every there is a very small minority of you that say please show us operation attacks and i love showing operation attacks so that is on my list of things to do if you have other videos that you're looking for me to throw out there please do let me know because uh, i am at your beck and call and we're gonna have a problem here as that's a is that an m&m song i believe it is let's see if we can't get bullet out front and save some of those zookas from that mine it did not happen just getting wrecked if you have tips on my attacks please do let me know because i just feel like i am going insane doing the same mistakes over and over again and i feel like people who have uh, maxed their boom cannons and or their sniper towers are just kicking the crap out of me so um not doing super well here at this point i would force close to save this person some time but i think it's actually going to be a benefit that we don't so um i am 
torn when force closing because you can waste someone's time so i try not to do it much but anyways there is 14 minutes of warships longer than i thought it was going to take but we now have barrage i am very very excited but as you see there, 875,000 to get the next level. So I'm going to be down here at the three engine room area for a little while longer. Let's get, s this is where I start. I want to spend, I, I really wish they would give us an option to say like ignore level or something so that I could get rid of that green arrow because those green arrows just draw my eye in and I really, really do want to spend. Now, if we're going to get this or not, we'll see. Getting two extra gunboat energy might be useful, but probably not. Probably more useful to wait for that next level of barrage. Let's do one attack with barrage, because I've been so, so waiting for barrage. I should have checked how much damage it does. I should have checked how much health an engine room has. But we're just going to wing it, and maybe you guys can learn from my complete and utter mistakes. We're going to go one, two, three, four with four boats of Zookas. I got a sneeze coming on. Let's go one, two, three, four. We're going to drop all of our stuff on the left hand side and see if we can barrage one, two, three and just see what happens. I assume it's going to take more than two barrages, probably more like four, but we now have three done. Not. Come on. I would really like it if a fourth barrage takes that down so we don't have to go to that left-hand side at all. We can just farm GBE and then burn that right-hand side. Would be magical because I am just struggling and sick and tired of losing and Farming chests is one thing, but it kind of turns into like this boring, not exciting sort of mode. So let's see if we can't get... Okay, so four barrages it is, and now all we need to do is flare that last engine room, and hopefully we can take this puppy down and pull a win out without having to go... We're still not fast, though. Like, this was not a fast attack. We are at three minutes, three seconds. Should be more like 3.13 for a win, but maybe, just maybe, we can pull one out against Luke from 1984. So... Not bad. Luke had more defenses than us for certain. We managed to pull out a win. I'm going to blame Barrage for that because didn't not having to go to the right-hand side was just super magical. And that's going to make my treading water... Maybe I got some flippers now. Maybe I got webbed toes. I don't really... It's going to make treading water slightly easier. Getting those chests slightly easier and hopefully boost my win rate out of pathetic regions. Let's try one more just because I'm curious to see if suddenly we can start winning. This person does not have a lot of defenses, but hopefully going to the right-hand side is going to again make us magical and make us win. I really do like the fact that they've got their... Um, What's that called? A machine gun and a mortar both touching. So hopefully we can get some free GBE there. Oh, look at that. They did not have building health. Only needed to use three. Life is good. Let's get a shock out. Get, see if we can't shock two mortars. Probably could have got three mortars. But so far, I am really, really digging this whole I have got barrage thing because suddenly the attacks are just so, so much easier. All we need to do now is get this shocked and then we can flare that last engine room right about now. Should be able to pull out a few more victories, all thanks to our wonderful friends at the gunboat. Look at that, 309. That is a more reasonable time. So obviously you need to be on the lookout to see if your opponents have building health. I just assumed everyone would at this point. Let's just see where building health is in the tech tree for a refresher. So I assumed everyone would have it, but maybe this person clearly decided they didn't want it or didn't need it or they didn't max it. So Barrage, definitely going to be helpful against people who don't have building health. If they do, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Need to throw four Barrages instead of three. Nonetheless, that's it for me. Barrage for the win. So, so stoked. Can finally start getting some chests from the tiers. I have not gotten a single one. I don't think this season. I think I started at maybe rank as low as 9, maybe as high as 11. I can't remember. I have to go back and check the video. But anyways, that's it for me. Don't forget to throw my name in the creator code. Now, why I'm pushing that... Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I can't see any stats on it. I haven't gotten a dime from it. But you know what? I had to get some sort of method to give you guys and gals a prize. So throw Zedmod into your creator code. Throw a comment in. Make sure that comment has a bicycle 
emoji, or you can just write the word bicycle or bike or velo or whatever you want. Anyways, as always, thanks for coming in. Hopefully you guys are doing well. There's a lot of weird, crazy, terrible things happening in the world right now, but hopefully you guys are happy and healthy and home and all of those sorts of things are branching away from home. Obviously, being home is dependent on where your state and COVID and all that sort of stuff. Anyways, hopefully you're good. That's what it comes down to. Um, as always, thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.